What is up, my friends? So we just got the teaser, well, not even a teaser anymore. We already know this game's coming out. And before I get into the Avengers game in MODOK and all the good stuff we've learned from the trailer today, I want to ask you for a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Give it a thumbs up. Turn on the bell for notifications. We talk all the stuff of pop culture that you love. So why not stick it right here to Nerd Round? But let's just get right into the Avengers story trailer. So we finally got a story trailer today. We got a couple of trailers today. We actually also got a Halo Infinite, which I want to do a breakdown as well. Maybe not today, maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning. But we are pretty much going to be talking about what is going on with all of this. There is this trailer that shows us the power of MODOK. MODOK is going to be the big bad in this game alongside AIM and all of that. And they're trying to get Kamala on their side as they're talking about Inhumans and all of that. And what we learned throughout the trailer is that MODOK is the one that pretty much set up the Avengers to come out as the bad guys of sorts, as we saw from the first trailer. And now we're seeing that uh, Modok's real plan is to get rid of superpowers like completely and he wants to get Kamala on his side as well. So what we see is Kamala pretty much is like hell no I'm not getting on your side and she pretty much goes to the Avengers lets them know everything that's going on and the Avengers are kind of in a weird spot themselves and who wouldn't blame them after everything that has happened to them they are in a state of pretty much dysfunctional family of sorts. And it was giving me some Age of Ultron type vibes as well, Captain America Civil War uh, vibes where they're pretty much like, they know they have to work together, but they're not really all there together. And it creates a lot of tension between all of them. I'll say that this uh, trailer was very much so the one that got me more excited for the game because the first trailer, super pumped about it art design everything I was a little iffy on but I got over that but then I started to see some other stuff they started to release and I was kind of thinking this game looks like it can get repetitive pretty quick and I wasn't sure if I was going to be excited for it at all but then we finally got today's trailer and a little bit more footage as well and I will say that the game plan still all of that doesn't look that appealing to me like I thought it would be but maybe I just have to play it to see exactly how I feel about it before I can make a judgment but the story looks beautiful and I would be excited to definitely get my hands on it pretty soon whenever I can. And it's going to be one of those games maybe where it's just going to be the story that really gets to you besides all that. But we're just going to have to wait and see because the gameplay at this point, it's it's not really all there for me as I said. I, I am definitely hoping to see some better gameplay coming up soon or whenever I do get my hands on it. But... Story-wise, I'm excited that they finally are bringing MODOK. Remember, there was a lot of rumors back in the day that MODOK was going to be in a Captain America movie. Of course, that never came true, but I always thought MODOK would be a great villain to bring in because he would be kind of your uh, brainiac of sorts villain for Marvel where everything is being done by him, manipulated all of this, and we're seeing it. And like I said, he gives me those Age of Ultron vibes as well. Um, and... It should be an interesting game. So they released some other footage as well for the game, such as the customization you can do, some of the gameplays I said. And I don't know, I'm I'm I was like a 50-50 with this game at first. Like not at first. When at first when it came out, I got I gotta tell you, I was like a hundred percent on board with it. But then some more stuff started come out for it and then I wasn't sure exactly how I felt about it. So I was more like eh. but with this new uh footage this new uh, gameplay they've been releasing today. I'm more on board to purchasing this game than I was before. And I mean, come on, I, I need it. I need it now. So what are your thoughts on the Avengers game? Do you think that um, this is going to be the move? This is going to be the big game of sorts? Or do you think that it's going to be a game that sort of is going to have a pop when it comes out? But then as people play it, we get more reviews and stuff for it. It's just going to dwindle down because when this game first got teased like a couple of years ago, the hype was insane. You were going to bring an Avengers game like story where you can play, customize all of this and sort of have it be an RPG of sorts. It just sounded insane and incredible at the same time. Um, once we did get the full trailer, the first full trailer we got, it was like, it was good. But many people were kind of like the art style, right? It's just like, it just was weird in a way, the way it looked and all of that. And that, that doesn't have to be the make it or break it. But 
as long as I always say a game has good mechanics, like when you're playing it and stuff, and the story can be um, really good as well, sometimes the visuals don't have to be outstanding because you can have a visually beautiful game, but if story sucks, mechanics sucks, why would you want to play it, you know? Everything looks gorgeous, but it's just not fun to play. I do hope that this isn't sort of a repetitive thing type game where it's like um, onslaught of uh, monsters, mob, whatever, take them out, move on to the next level, and all of that. And yeah, games at the core are that, but they keep you uh, going and, and they pretty much are like changing it up for you a bit. I, I, I don't know if I'm explaining myself right there. But I think bringing a character such as Modok, who is a very... Um, I wouldn't say he's a very uh, not known character, but not as big as other villains is a good first step. And that way you build up the hype with this one. And then when we get to a sequel, because there's no doubt in my mind they're going to make a sequel for this game. You make that sequel and you throw in a villain, let's say like Dr. Doom in there. Boom. It's going to skyrocket like crazy. So you don't want to start off with your top tier triple a villain at first you want to start off with a d list or, or c list or whatever and then you work your way up there because if this game does good with modok could you imagine if they throw in a bigger villain such as dr doom and then in the next game sort of throw in galactus or even thanos that would just be incredible so i'm hopeful for this game i'm hoping it does good i'm hoping it's fun all that i mean I don't know what else could I say. It's going to be a game I'm definitely picking up. And I'm excited for it. It's it's definitely on my top five for this year to pick up as well. Um, definitely number one is still Cyberpunk. If they keep if hopefully they don't keep delaying it because I, I'm I'm just so ready to play that game already. Um, I'm gonna be playing also pretty soon, uh, whenever it do, when it does come out, which is gonna be in July, the Ghost of Tsushima, which my goodness. Have y'all seen the latest videos for that? It looks so good. I'm about to be playing The Last of Us for the next two days. I think in two days I'll be able to finish it. And I need to go back and finish Final Fantasy VII as well, which is something I uh, kind of dropped for a little bit. But I'm going to pick it up again. And, man, it just looks like it's going to be a great time for gaming, right? With the new PlayStation 5, the new Xbox, um, which we still don't even know the prices for. Hopefully it's not something where you have to, like, go and pawn something and buy it but here's hoping um it's not an insane price whenever that does release what are your thoughts though on the avengers game are you excited or not which game are you most looking forward to this year and which game are you most excited that's been announced during the summer of game i definitely have to say i'm looking forward to paper mario as well i don't have a switch yet because it's impossible to find a switch but hopefully that i can find a switch before the uh holidays hopefully anyways as always that is going to do it for me if you haven't already subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you turn on the bell for notifications we talk all the stuff in pop culture you love i talk movies i talk video games i talk music i talk anime tv all of that and all in one channel so you might want to find make sure you tune in i'll be talking about the halo infinite trailer as i said later on tonight or maybe tomorrow morning i'm just gonna have to watch it a couple times and really try to figure out what's going on as well let me know which villain would you love to see from the marvel universe be coming up in a future uh, sequel for this game series as well as i said i want to see dr doom then i want to see thanos or galactus but who do you want to see who do you think would be a bigger threat for the avengers in an upcoming game let me know below do you follow me on social media as well on twitter on anchor twitch i'll also be updating my website pretty soon so once that does come out i would post a community tab where you can go and find that so if you want to be uh reading articles or just seeing more stuff being posted it's definitely going to be over there on the website really trying to clean this out really trying to get this uh going in a much better way than just crowding this uh, channel with a lot of videos that maybe you don't want to see. I'm going to talk more about that pretty soon because that's something I'm working on behind the scenes. So get ready for that. But anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you subscribe on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. And make sure you turn on the bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. Stay safe. Stay positive. Hey, 
you're still listening, why don't you go ahead and check one of those videos on the left. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Stay positive.